Hey everyone, Facebook friends. Uh, today I'm so proud to announce that my new book is out. It's called The non Tinfoil Guide to EMFs. Now, I could be posting that to Facebook randomly, but I honestly think a lot of you don't even know what EMFs are and what the problem is and why the hell I spent 2,000 hours looking into the issue. Uh, as uh, some of you know, I'm, I'm passionate about health, so uh, I knew about the topic of uh, cell phone radiation and Wi-Fi radiation and kind of heard that maybe there are health issues associated with, this, with these things, but mainly I thought, well, if you can buy a cell phone, it means that there's probably someone who tested it to ensure that the kind of radiation that's emitted from these, these things is safe. Uh, what I discovered through my research is actually that these safety standards are so far from being up to date. In fact, the latest times uh, the la latest time they've been updated is 1996, so 21 years ago. At that time, you could hold a cell phone that was like this big next to your body, and it weighed more than a pound. Uh, and it was a Nokia 9000 for those of you who remember and it was used primarily by like businessmen in their car my, my, my dad had something like that in his car so the reason I wrote a book on the subject is simply that I think um, and it's not just my opinion but science shows that cell phone radiation is the new smoking really uh, in the 70s and the 80s, smoking was still uh, debated to be a carcinogen or not because the link between smoking and lung cancer wasn't clear. The science wasn't there, or at least there were studies that, was show that were showing uh, negative effects and some studies showing no effect. So the conclusion was, okay, let's wait, let's wait a couple of years, or um, the, the companies behind uh, cigarettes, uh, big tobacco, argued, well, you cannot accuse us of causing cancer because we have not proven this causality, you know? Same thing with cell phones at the moment. At the, at the moment, as we speak, cell phones uh, or Wi-Fi signals are being banned from certain schools around the world. And uh, in Israel, the government um, scientists have recommended that it's pulled out of schools. Uh, it's been removed from kindergarten uh, in France and in other places in the world. And these people are mainly concerned because science is finding that this kind of non-ionizing radiation, it means that it's not like nuclear radiation or x-rays or any of that stuff. It's low-level radiation. It turns out that it has an effect on your body. And science is finding studies that have found, have found that among other things, it can break your DNA. So it can actually, over time, not like instantaneously like Chernobyl would do, but over time, let's say Wi-Fi 24 hours times how many years now? It's been around like eight years, 10 years. Uh, multiply that and then you get the effects. Then you get the fatigue. Then you get the insomnia in some cases for some people. Then you get just an overall body burden or overall body toxicity that happens. So uh, I could go on and on about the topic, but I really wanted to give you some background on why I wrote the book. Uh, it's, it's, the science is not definitive. I cannot tell you that definitely you should never use your cell phone or any of that stuff. Uh, and it's not true. Uh, the science isn't clear. What I am telling you is that in a couple of years from now, uh, this is going to be considered just as smoking and the levels are going to be changed and some people are going to go back to wired instead of wi-fi because of that because it can affect us and it's a it, it's a kind of a second hand smoking that not only we don't see but that right now in the meantime while research isn't clear on whether it's safe or not we're basically distributing cigarettes to every child and every plant and every human being on the planet in a major way so this is what's happening. It's not even the, it's not politics. It's not my opinion. Uh, there are thousands of scientists, of, of doctors, and of politicians that are looking at the issue. Dozens of countries, as I outlined in the book, have taken action on reducing these levels. Um, cell phone towers have been dismantled in 2012 in India because the government said that they are a health hazard. In the meantime, they're getting installed by the thousands in the U.S. and Canada. And Toronto, I've heard lately, is the worst city on the planet when it comes to cell phone tower placement and radiation. 
So the, the levels are just too much and it's too much for your body. So what I propose is um, a different way of doing things. Uh, my book is not about fear monitoring or uh, letting you know like why you should shred your iPhone pieces, any of that stuff. What I recommend is just changing the way you use technology. So one example is instead of holding that thing to your head, right, like this, you could have these headphones and keep distance from your phone. So right there, um, here I'm at 100% radiation and here I'm like 1%. So it falls, it falls off very quickly when you put distance between the source of radiation, your phone, and your head because you, you don't want to get the brain fog and the brain cancer risk that have been shown in research associated with this kind of radiation. So I'm, I'm all about solutions. Uh, and, and finding solutions to that issue, not kind of creating fear in your mind and, and saying why it's bad and why you should never use your cell phone. It's nothing like that. Uh, in reality, it's all based on simple, oftentimes free solutions that you can apply to change your way, the way you use technology. Another example is just where is your Wi-Fi router situated inside your house or apartment? Is it in your bedroom? If so, it's a big problem. If it's uh, right in front of you while you work, like right on your desk, I see people doing that a lot, it will make you fatigue. It will drain you like nothing else. And it's not on the box. It's not, there's no warning anywhere telling you that this is going to happen, but um, it might affect you personally more than others. Others might not feel it, but overall, whether you feel it or not, it's doing something to your body. So. My, this is the warning that the, the, the book is all about. You can check it out at uh, nontinfoilemf.com and uh, I'm excited to, to have you be aware of the issue. And if you have uh, any, any questions, any comments, I can send you links. I, I'm, I'm just too deep in the research. I just want people to know about that. So I thank you in advance and I'm so excited because this is finally out. I want to give uh, a shout out to everyone uh, Jen, my, my other half and co-CEO at uh, Nick and Jen, um, NG Media. And wow, it's been a long journey. It's been months and months and months in the making and it's finally out. We're excited. We've done a few sales internally in our internal launch uh, this week. It's been super exciting and I'm looking forward to your feedback. See you.